Usually, the next question that I get when I show people how to create drop-down lists is how to create dependent drop-down lists. And maybe you've seen this before. So for instance, I have a drop-down here for a department. And if I click on it, I've got three different departments. I'll click on HR. And when I go now to Manager, it shows me all of the managers that just work in HR. If I switch HR to Marketing, now my manager field shows all my marketing managers. You see those are different than HR. And then I have production. And this would be a list of all my production managers. All right, so this was actually not very hard to create and I will show you how I did it. So the first thing that you need obviously is a spreadsheet where you want your dropdowns. And then what I did on another spreadsheet was I created a couple of different lists. I created a list of all my departments and lists of different managers for those departments. The next thing that I did was I highlighted my departments and I gave it the name of departments. So I talked about naming your ranges in an earlier lecture. All I had to do here after I selected it was go up to my name box, type in the word departments and hit enter. I did the same thing here. I highlighted this information and I named it production highlighted what's in my C column, named it marketing, highlighted what's in my D column, and named it HR. All right, so then I went back to my other sheet and in department, and I went to my data validation, I changed it to a list, and I said that the source equals departments. So it's looking for the named range of departments. And remember, that's A1 through A3 on my other page. And that's how it gives me these three departments. All right, so here's where the dependency comes in. Under Manager, I went to Data Validation. And again, I had it choose a list. But this time, I put in a formula. My formula is equals indirect of A2. Indirect is a way to reference cells inside of Excel. Now, the first time you do this, the first time you type in equals indirect and then click on A2, you might get an error box that pops up. It says, hey, there's nothing there. So I'll do an example over here in E2. I'll go to data validation and I'll change it to list and I'll type in equals in direct. Open parentheses, click on A2, close my parentheses and OK. So you see, this is the error that I'm talking about. The source currently evaluates to an error. Do you want to continue? That's fine, because remember, it's trying to look at A2, and right now there's nothing in A2. So go ahead and say yes. And when I do make A2 something different, now I have the correct information in my dropdown. All right, so you see that's super easy to do. And the key here is using the indirect function. Right now, indirect is looking at HR and it's saying, hey, where in this workbook is HR? It goes over to sheet two and it returns all the information in the cells that I named HR. All right, so I know that trick will save you a lot of time. And you can see it really wasn't hard to set up.